So it looks like it's that time of year again where you have to start putting in your applications to get into the university course that you want. Well, even if you have the tiniest interest in getting into dentistry, you've come to the right video. Whether you're a year 12 student who's about to finish high school or you're an undergrad student who's about to graduate and you're assessing your postgrad options, stick around and find out which pathway is the best for you. My name is Peter and I'm a first year dental student at the University of Western Australia. Just last year, I was in the exact same position that you guys are in and I know all the stress and anxiety that comes with putting in those applications and wondering whether or not your score measures up with the rest of the applicants. Trust me, it'll be over soon and you get into the course that you want. So there are nine dental schools in Australia, six undergrad and three postgrad. Most of these have very different application processes. So let me break them down for you. As for postgrad schools, you've got the University of Melbourne, the University of Sydney, and the University of Western Australia. For the undergrad schools, you've got La Trobe University in Victoria, Charles Sturt University in New South Wales, three Queensland schools, James Cook University in Cairns, UQ, University of Queensland in Brisbane, and you've got Griffith University in Gold Coast. And finally, the University of Adelaide in South Australia. I'm gonna chuck in the timestamps for all the universities that I'm about to discuss down below. So feel free to scroll through and click on the university that you're interested in. So first up, you've got the University of Melbourne Dental School. It's located in the heart of the city and it's just a 10 minute tram ride from Melbourne Central. It's a four year course, but that's given that you've completed at least three years of an undergraduate degree. So what they'll require from you is your GPA, your GAMSAT, and a couple of prerequisites. So you need to have completed second year physiology, anatomy, and biochemistry. You apply on the GEMSAS website, which is where all the medical students apply. And the deadline for that is the 31st of May. So something to note, if you're a high school student and you get 99.95 or 99.90, you're eligible as a Chancellor's Scholar and you get direct entry into dentistry. But you have to maintain a certain GPA. Also, they offer CSP, Commonwealth Supported Places, and Full Fee Places, which are a bit easier to get into. So next up, you've got the University of Sydney. You'll be located right in the middle of the city at Sydney Dental Hospital, but you also might be stationed at Westmead Hospital, which is pretty far west in the western suburbs of Sydney. Like Melbourne, this is a four-year course, but you have to have completed an undergraduate degree first. So what they require of you is a GAMSAT, and GPA, but they don't actually use a GPA. It's just a threshold that you have to get above five. Other than that, you'll be offered a spot solely based on your GAMSAT score. So there are two applications you need to complete for UCID. One is a UAC QAS application and the other is directly on the UCID website. The deadline for the QAS application is 12 a.m. on the 27th of May. And for the UCID portal, it's 4 p.m. on the 28th of May. Another thing to note is that there are already about 10 spots already taken up by current undergrad students at the University of Sydney. So for UWA Dental School, it's located in Perth, just outside the city, and it's surrounded by a beautiful bay called Matilda Bay. Like Sydney and Melbourne, it's a four-year course, but that's also given that you've completed three years of an undergraduate somewhere. UWA is special, however, you can get in through an assured pathway. So if you're a year 12, you can apply with your ATAR, UCAT and an interview, and it becomes a six year course all up, which saves you at least one year as opposed to the seven year plus postgraduate pathway. As a postgrad applicant, you'll need a GPA, GAMSAT, and also an interview after that. Those will be weighted equally. You have to apply directly on the UWA website and the deadline for that is the 31st of May. One thing to note which really appealed to me was that UWA only offers Commonwealth supported places, which are a lot, lot cheaper than full fee places. So on to the undergraduate schools, you've got La Trobe University, which is located in Bendigo. Because of its more rural setting, you'll get a lot of exposure to rural patients, which will really fast track your development as a dentist. The length of the course is five years, and if you're a high school leaver, your offer will wholly depend on your ATAR. Latrobe's prerequisites are year 12 chemistry, year 12 biology, 
and year 12 English. You can apply through VTAC, which will be on their website. I've actually worked with a dentist who graduated from Latrobe University for three years and the amount of stories that I heard about the things that the dental students get up there it sounds so much fun so I think if you choose Latrobe you definitely have a really really good time. Alright, the University of Queensland. It's located right in the city of Brisbane and it's a five year course. As a high school student, you'll need to focus on your ATAR and also doing well on the UCAT. If you're a uni student and you're looking to get in, you can still apply, you have to make sure you do the UCAT and they'll also look at your GPA. One of my close friends, George, shout out to George, he actually got into UQ after finishing one year at the University of Melbourne doing an undergraduate course. So just letting you know that you can definitely still get in just as long as you get a relatively high UCAT and maintain a relatively high GPA as well. So for UQ, you'll be applying at QTAC and from the feedback that I've heard from George, he said that the program is wonderful and the learning facilities are really, really top of the line. All right, moving on to Griffith. It's on the Gold Coast, mate. You'll be going to a lot of theme parks. So this is also a five year course and as of entry for 2022, they've added um, UCAT and MMI, multiple mini interviews on top of ATAR requirement. You'll be applying through QTAC, so just make sure that you check their website. Just something to note for Griffith, the first three years will be Commonwealth supported place, but for the final two years, I think it's a full fee place, which means you'll be forking out around $100,000 on top of the CSP three years. So that is something to consider. But honestly, I'm telling you, my mate Anthony, shout out to Ando, he is studying at Griffith at the moment, doing dentistry, and he is absolutely loving it. So I'm sure that you'll also have a good time. All right, the third of the Queensland Dental Schools, we've got James Cook University. So this is also a five-year course and is located in Cairns, right up north. For JCU, they don't actually require a UCAT score as long as you have your ATAR. However, they do require you to write in a written application, which you have to print off and mail to them. The prerequisites for JCU are English, Methods and Chemistry, and you'll be applying through QTAC. From what I heard from the dentist, Kim, who I worked with for a while, he said that the cohort becomes very, very close up there, and you guys really become a second family. So if you do decide to go up to JCU to study dentistry, you have a group of mates who will be with you for a really long time. Traveling down to New South Wales, you've got Charles Sturt University. It's located in Orange, New South Wales. It's a five year course. I believe Orange is a rural town. I think the vibes will be very similar to Bendigo, where you'll be exposed to a lot of rural cases, which will really fast track your development. So CSU actually doesn't take into account your ATAR, only your UCAT interview, and you can apply through UAC. The website states that you have clinical placement opportunities in Albury, Wodonga, Dubbo, Bathurst, Wagga Wagga, and Orange. Finally, lucky last, we've got the University of Adelaide, located in the city of Adelaide, right in the middle of the city. So this is a five year course. It's actually where my dad completed his degree back in 1986 or something like that. So the entry requirements for the University of Adelaide are your UCAT and interview exclusively. And they'll only use your ATAR as a tiebreaker if the interview and UCAT scores are exactly the same. You'll be applying through SASAC, so make sure you're on top of their dates on their website. So my dad's still working, going strong after 33 years of practicing as a dentist. So I'm assuming that they taught him pretty well. I also visited Adelaide a couple of years ago and they have a brand new building just for dentistry and it is absolutely state of the art. So you're gonna have an amazing time with amazing facilities if you decide to attend Adelaide Uni. So that is all nine dental schools and the applications broken down. I hope you took something out of this video. Thank you so much for even being interested in studying dentistry and hopefully I'll see you soon as a dental colleague.